Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice radical equation. Cube root of m plus square root of m is equal to 1 over 8. Our job is to find all possible values of m. So, let's start. Since this m is under square root, for real solutions, m must be greater than 0. Now, this uh, cube root of m can be written as uh, m to the power 1 over 3. Plus, this uh, square root of m can be written as m to the power 1 over 2 is equal to 1 over 8. Now, this uh, m to the power 1 over 3 can be written as uh, m to the power 1 over 6 whole to the power 2 plus this uh, m to the power 1 over 2 can be written as uh, m to the power 1 over 6 and the uh, whole to the power 3 is equal to 1 over 8. Now, we suppose that this uh, m to the power 1 over 6 is equal to y. That y is equal to m to the power 1 over 6. And this implies that uh, y is equal to 6 root of uh, m. For real solutions, uh, this m must be greater than 0. So, this y must be greater than 0. y must be greater than 0. Now, we substitute y in this equation, then this equation will become y squared plus uh, y cubed is equal to 1 over 8. We move this uh, 1 over 8 uh, to the left hand side, then this will become y squared plus y cubed minus 1 over 8 is equal to 0. Now, this uh, negative 1 over 8, negative 1 over 8 is same as negative 2 over 8 plus 1 over 8. So, we can rewrite this equation as uh, y squared plus uh, y cubed minus 2 over 8 plus 1 over 8 is equal to 0. This 2 over 8 will become 1 over 4. And this 1 over 4, 1 over 4 is same as 1 over 2 whole squared. So, we write this uh, 1 over 4 with this y squared. In this uh, 1 over 8, uh, 1 over 8 is same as 1 over 2 cubed. So, we write this uh, 1 over 8 with this uh, y cubed. So, this will become y squared minus 1 over 4 plus y cubed plus 1 over is equal to 0. Next, y squared minus this 1 over 4 can be written as a 1 over 2 whole squared. And we use brackets to make this a group. Plus, this y cubed plus this 1 over 8 can be written as a 1 over 2 whole cubed is equal to 0. Now, by using this algebraic identity a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. This will become y plus 1 over 2 times y minus 1 over 2 plus by using this algebraic identity a cubed plus b cubed is equal to a plus b times a squared minus a b plus b squared. This will become y plus 1 over 2 times y squared minus 1 over 2 times y 1 over 2 times y 
plus 1 over 2 squared is 1 over 4 is equal to 0. Now, as you can see this expression y plus 1 over 2, this expression y plus 1 over 2 is common. So, we factor out this uh, y plus 1 over 2 and uh, in bracket left, uh, bracket left this uh, y minus 1 over 2 plus this uh, y squared minus 1 over 2 y plus 1 over 4. In bracket left, uh, y minus 1 over 2 plus uh, y squared minus 1 over 2 times y plus 1 over 4 is equal to 0. Next, y plus 1 over 2 times, we write this uh, y squared first, y squared. In this uh, 1 y minus 1 over 2 y will become plus 1 over 2 times y. In this uh, negative 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4 will become negative 1 over 4 is equal to 0. And from here either this expression y plus 1 over 2 is equal to 0 or this expression y squared plus 1 over 2 times y minus 1 over 4 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of y is equal to negative 1 over 2. And from this equation if we multiply both sides of this equation by 4 then this implies that 4 times y squared plus 2 times y minus 1 is equal to 0. This quadratic equation is not factorable, so we solve it by quadratic formula. According to quadratic formula, y is equal to negative value of b is 2 plus minus square root of in place of b squared we write 2 squared minus 4 times a is 4 times c is negative 1 divided by 2 times a is 4. Next y is equal to negative 2 plus minus square root of this 2 squared will become 4. Negative 4 times 4 negative 16 times negative 1 plus 16 divided by 2 times 4 8 y is equal to negative 2 plus minus square root of 4 plus 16 will become 20 divided by 8 y is equal to negative 2 plus minus this square root of this 20 can be written as 4 times 5 divided by 8. Next, y is equal to negative 2 plus minus this square root of 4 will become 2 times root 5 divided by 8. Next, y is equal to we can factor out 2 from numerator. So, this will become 2 times negative 1 plus minus root 5 divided by 8. This 2 1 time 2 4 times 8 and from here we get 2 values of y. y is equal to negative 1 plus root 5 over 4 and y is equal to negative 1 minus root 5 over 4. In first we found the value of y is equal to first we found the value of y negative 2. First we found the value of y negative 1 over 2. Now as we discussed earlier that uh, y must be greater than 0. This value of y negative 1 over 2 is uh, less than 0. So this will be rejected 
in this value of y negative 1 minus root 5 over 4 is less than 0 this will also be rejected we accept only this value of y negative 1 plus root 5 over 4 now to find the value of m we recall that we have supposed we have supposed that uh, y is equal to m to the power 1 over 6 we have supposed that m to the power 1 over 6 is equal to y so when y is equal to this value then this will become m to the power 1 over 6 is equal to negative 1 plus uh, root 5 over 4 and to find the value of m we take uh, 6 power on both sides at left hand side and at right hand side we take power 6 so this uh, 6 will be cancelled out with this 6 and we are left with uh, m is equal to this uh, negative 1 plus root 5 is same as root 5 minus 1 divided by 4 and whole to the power 6 next m is equal to this expression can be written as uh, root 5 minus 1 over 4 whole cubed and the whole to the power 2 next m is equal to this uh, root 5 minus 1 over 4 whole cubed will become root 5 minus 1 whole cubed divided by 4 cubed and whole to the power 2 next m is equal to by using this algebraic identity a minus b whole cubed is equal to a cubed minus 3 a squared b plus 3 a b squared minus b cubed this uh, root 5 minus 1 whole cubed will become root 5 cubed minus 3 times uh, root 5 squared times 1 plus uh, 3 times uh, root 5 times 1 squared minus 1 cubed divided by this uh, 4 cubed will become 64 and uh, whole to the power 2 next m is equal to this uh, root 5 cubed will become 5 times root 5 minus uh, this uh, square will be considered with this uh, square root and 3 times 5 times 1 will become 15 plus uh, this is uh, 3 times root 5 times 1 squared will become 3 times root 5 minus this 1 cubed will become 1 divided by 64 whole to the power 2 x m is equal to this uh, 5 times root 5 and uh, 3 times root 5 will become 8 times root 5 minus this 15 minus 1 will become 16 divided by 64 whole to the power 2 next m is equal to from the numerator we can factor out 8 in bracket left root 5 minus 2 divided by 64 whole to the power 2 next m is equal to this 8 1 time and 8 8 times 64 so this will become root 5 minus 2 over 8 whole to the power 2 now this will become m is equal to root 5 minus 2 square
squared divided by 8 squared. Next, m is equal to, by using this algebraic identity, a minus b whole squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. This root 5 minus 2 whole squared will become root 5 squared minus 2 times root 5 times 2 plus 2 squared divided by this 8 squared will become 64. Now, this uh, square will be considered out with this uh, square root and we are left with uh, m is equal to 5 negative 2 times uh, root 5 times 2 minus 4 times root 5 plus uh, this uh, 2 squared will become 4 divided by this 64. Next, m is equal to this 5 plus 4 will become 9 minus 4 times root 5 divided by 64 and this can be written as m is equal to 9 over 64 minus 4 times root 5 over 64. In this 4, 1 time 4, 16 times 64. So, we get the final value of m is equal to 9 over 64 minus root 5 over 16. This is the final answer of this problem.